This is the Jordan Dome, a basketball laboratory that transforms an out-of-shape baseball player back into a finals MVP. It's 1995, and Michael Jordan is just unretired via fax and rejoined the Chicago Bulls. They win 14 of their last 17 and surge into the playoffs. They cruise past the Hornets in the first round, but then run into Shaq, Penny, and the number one seed Orlando Magic. Jordan completely blows game one, getting his pocket picked in the final seconds by Magic shooting guard Nick Anderson. After the game, Anderson tells the media, number 23, he could just blow by you. He took off like a space shuttle. Number 45, he revs up, but he doesn't really take off. The next game, Jordan changes his number back to 23 and torches Anderson for 38, but the Bulls lose the series in six. The stories of the Jumpman's demise begin to roll in. Jordan is pissed and he's motivated. He's ready to get back in the gym and prove these doubters wrong. He has a problem though. His whole summer is tied up filming a movie with Bugs Bunny called Space Jam. He'll be stuck on set 12 hours a day and won't be able to work out. Jordan tells Warner Brothers that in order to do the movie, he'll need a place on the lot to play basketball. The producers suggest putting up hoops and painting lines on a parking lot near set. Tim Grover, Jordan's longtime trainer, steps in and tells them the three-time NBA champion will not be playing outside in a parking lot. Instead, on top of that parking lot, they build the Jordan Dome, a state-of-the-art pop-up basketball palace. It has a full basketball court, a locker room with showers, a weight room, big screen TVs, a card table, and even a putting green. It costs $10,000 a week just to air condition the place. Jordan starts to shoot Space Jam during the day and every night he enters the dome to work out and play pickup basketball with some of the best basketball players on the planet. Every major star in the NBA begins to roll through the dome to play with Jordan. Soon word gets out about these legendary games in a dome on a studio backlot in Burbank. The biggest celebrities in and around Los Angeles line up for courtside seats. The Jordan Dome is the hottest ticket in town. At the end of shooting, Jordan had gained 8 pounds of muscle and transformed back into the best basketball player on the planet. The following season, he led the Bulls to 72 wins in an NBA championship. He was the regular season, all-star game, and finals MVP. Space Jam was released a few months later and became the most successful basketball movie of all time. And that is the story of the Jordan Dome. Thanks, Bob, for everything.